Hello, everybody. It's Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and today we're going to talk about a very important topic, the difference between a pre-approval for a mortgage and a pre-qualification. I have been going on many, many uh, viewings of homes with uh, clients in the past couple of weeks, and a lot of the houses on the market out here on Long Island uh, have been getting multiple offers selling at the first open house, or in some cases, even before that, there's offers on the table. So how do you make your offer stand out? Well, the most important thing for any homeowner is to make sure they have everything lined up, all that paperwork lined up, so when they find that house that they say, they get that feeling that this is the house for them, they're able to put an offer with their real estate agent, and that offer actually can pull, it's meaning, you can have an offer for the same amount of dollars. For example, a $500,000 house. You probably will end up putting an offer for above $500,000 if the house warrants it to make your offer shine. But if you back that offer with a pre-qualification or no paperwork, it's not going to pull much weight. Pre-approval is the way to go. The difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification is basic. Pre-approval means you supply to the mortgage company, whether it be a banker or a broker, all the paperwork, your W-2 forms, your paycheck stubs, whatever it is that they require, uh, credit checks, you've done. And that shows that you now are able to afford this type of mortgage. A pre-qualification means you filled out a basic questionnaire. They asked you a question, how much do you make? Where do you work? How long have you worked there? But you've never f uh, followed up with the documentation. Think about it. Put yourself in the shoes of the actual agent representing the seller and also the homeowner trying to sell the house. If there's five offers or more on that table when that are being presented to the homeowner, which one would you accept? One that you know there's been a background check done, you know they have a much better chance of actually getting that mortgage, or do you want to tie your house up with somebody who has no documentation whatsoever, or a pre-qualification uh, that you're going to take a chance? Even if it's for more money, what would you do? And I think you know the answer. My opinion would be, or my coaching to my clients, would be take the offer that has that pre-approval from a reputable bank that's current and also has been checked recently by um, your real estate agent or yourself, you call and make sure that that particular pre-approval is valid. This is Mark Schreier uh, from Century 21 American Homes. If you like this video, please uh, click like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook. Have a good day until we um, talk again.